Hey Clear Lake peeps, Ross Englund, Clear Lake Guide Service with a report for Clear Lake for October 18th, 2024. It's Friday. I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place between either not doing a report or I'm doing it late. Sorry. I know it's best for everybody if it comes at the same time, same station every time, but it's just not been working out that way recently. So apologize for that. Those of you that are following. So let's get, let's get right into it. Lake level 2.1. It has come down one tenth of a foot again, which is a little over an inch over this last week. Uh, actually, if you went to the USGS site and looked at the uh, water level, <laughs> I'll tell you what, the wind from the, the previous two days, Wednesday and Thursday, that little chart got a workout and that little measuring device, it was bouncing all over the place. So anyway, look for it to be about the same thing. Even though we got a little bit of rain this week, it didn't amount to anything as, other than just make it miserable for people who were standing out in it for a short period of time. Windier than heck, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. In fact, we're under a red flag warning right now for Friday night, Saturday. Um, today at lake level, pretty nice, especially after fishing the previous two days where I was extremely limited where I could go. Um, wasn't, was not the case today. It was very nice out there. So water temperature, um, it's dropped. Been colder like this morning, which is Friday morning. It was like 31 at our house. So there was a little bit of hint of frost around early. Uh, even though the forecast said it was supposed to be 44, it was well down into the 30s. Talked to a couple people at the ramp this morning who echoed the same thing where they live. So um, it's fall. Chilly mornings, slippery launch ramps. Not just for driving on, but for walking down. So, you know, if you're on these launch ramps around the lake early in the morning, be careful because some of them, I don't care who you are, we've all done the slip and fall on them. So about, about an inch lower on the lake for the past week. Water temperature, kind of really all over the place. Uh, it's dropped during the course of the week because of those cold mornings. Today, Jim and I saw 68 degrees, but we also got in places where we saw water temperatures cool as 63 degrees. So it just depends on where you where you are. It depends on which way the wind blew for the last couple of days. So, I mean, it's still great water temperature. Water color. Um, pretty, I mean, you know, I think I said last report that the water was looking pretty good and it's, it still is the amount of wind that blew, I'm sure blew, uh, algae into a lot of different areas. We've got a lot of different mix, but the upper end down through the narrows, which is where I spent my time during the course of this week, um, the water looked, looked good. Clarity. I saw the clearest spot I saw was probably two feet where I could easily see a bait. Uh, but for the most part, on the average, I'd say it was about a foot to a foot and a half from in the areas that I went into. So those are pretty much the conditions uh, for this week for what I saw. Look for the water temperatures to continue to drop. Um... We did get rain, but it didn't really amount to much. So that didn't really count for anything. Uh, upcoming activities this next weekend, nothing that I can find. The following weekend, there are permits pulled for a new gen event for Saturday and Sunday. But before I recorded this, I, I looked on their website and I don't see a tournament scheduled. So I don't think there's anything going on the following weekend either. So I think you got this weekend free and next weekend free as, as well. Um, 
one other thing of interest before it slips my mind is I read in Lake County News today, and hopefully it goes according to plan, but they've been trying to <laughs> dredge Lucerne Harbor out for a number of years, trying, trying to get the process through and get all the approvals and everything that they need to do to be able to dredge that thing out. Uh, just out of curiosity, you know, I kind of, there was some information that was posted on that thing. And, you know, that thing was built back like in 1965. So it's been there for a while. Um, but at any rate, the dredging out of that harbor has been approved. And supposedly it could happen the end of this month. So sometime in the next couple of weeks, you could see activity. It would obviously close the launch ramp. Uh, but as small as that area is, I wouldn't think it would take very long. So just kind of keep that in the back of your heads. And if anybody knows more information, by all means, pipe in and, and let us know. Fishing wise, uh, not as good as it was. But, you know, you got to take into account some really weird weather mix this week. If I just counted numbers of fish that we were catching, you know, it's probably in the 15 to 16 fish range for a couple of uh, anglers. If I caught, just count keeper fish, probably six to seven is what it's running. I'm sure I'm throwing back some keepers that, you know, because it never ceases to amaze me. I, you know, I'll look at a fish and think, ah, that's short fish and get ready to throw it back and throw it on the measuring board just out of honoriness. And it'll be 12 and a half inches long. So it's a keeper, but it's not a keeper that anybody fishing in this lake would look at and say, oh yeah, that's a keeper. Um, but the, you know, the average fish size is holding up pretty well. I mean, you can... Um, John Pearl is an example. He's catching some really nice fish on swim baits. Um, we didn't, you know, we didn't kill them this week by any means. Six, seven, eight fish days. But the good news is, you know, they're, they're pushing 20 pound limits or just over 20 pounds. So if, if we're getting five or six bites and getting them into the boat, we're getting good limits of fish. And we really didn't have any big fish. I mean, the biggest fish this week was uh, actually one I caught today with Jim, which was pushing seven, uh, seven pounds. So I'm not going to say the fishing's great. I mean, we've covered a lot of water, um, but there's fish available. All the fish that, that we've caught were short, um, in pretty shallow water. So, of course, that's where we like to fish. So, chance of catching a really good fish is, is good. You just may not, <laughs> you may spend a lot of time making a lot of casts before that one bites. So, that's my report for what it's worth. And with any luck, we'll talk to you next week.